Hello everyone! This is Ninja Girl Sakura here, back with my Danganronpa 1 Blind Let's Play! So, uh, yeah, just last time we started up the game with us getting into this prestigious school through... It seems like pure luck and too good to be true, and you know what they say. If something seems too good to be true, it usually is, and, uh, yeah, we found that out the hard way when we came in here and something very odd happened and now we're here with all the other people. So, uh, yeah. And last time I think we were told we needed to go to the gym next, so we're going to do that. But first, my dear friend did finally tell me who voices who. Oh, of course, no spoilers, they know not to do that. They wouldn't do that to me, and I appreciate that so much, and I appreciate no one spoiling it in the comments as well. Thank you, because this is blind, I know nothing. All I've seen is screenshots of this game around Twitter and whatnot. I, I have no clue what happens. So yeah, and that's gonna make the experience ten times better. But just from the little bit I've played before, I'm really liking it. But uh, yeah, apparently... Kyoko is voiced by the one, the only, Erica Harlecker, aka Lady On. Yay! And also Kyrie from uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Love her. Love her. She's a fellow Kingdom Hearts fanatic. She's really sweet. Just love her. Um, let's see now. And let's see. Cassandra Lee Morris for Ghana is Aoi, who must be in the other group. I hope it doesn't make me ask, um, have to talk to them again. Analog stick, please. <laughs> it's drifting, so excuse me. Ugh, shit. Now, hold on, I'm trying to go this way. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's right. Not her. I forgot it was the the camera. <laughs> the uh the right analog stick. Where did the rest of them go? Looking around. I guess they already left. Because I'm looking around and I don't see anyone else. But anyway, um, Cassandra Lee Morris is Aoi. Bryce Peppenbrook, who, yeah, is the Don and stuff, is. Makoto. Okay. Funny. Huh. That's Persona. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Persona obviously has a protagonist named Morgana. Or not Morgana. Eh. Makoto. <laughs> so, yeah. There's technically two Makotos in Persona because Persona 5. But obviously, Queen is a girl. And she's badass. But we love Persona 3. We love Makoto Yuki. So, uh, yeah. Let's see what you have to say, Kyoko. I'm curious. Listen. I know how you feel, but all we can do now is check it out, right? Listen. That is Erica, and I can hear it now. Okay. That's so cool. I love her. Oh, okay, cool. So, yeah. Bryce is us, the protagonist. Very cool. Okay. Uh oh, so how do we get out of here? Mailbox, there's nothing inside. Okay. Security camera. A good. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, I have a feeling it's real. Makoto. I have a very terrible feeling it is. Oh boy. Oh goody. <laughs> that can never be good. Hello. Wow. Are you okay? Is everyone okay? Barely. <sighs> True. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. Agreed. I like her. She's really cute. Uh, um, something weird is going on here, right? 
It's not just me? No, it's not. You are correct. Something very odd is happening. And I don't know what yet, but I'm excited to find out. <laughs> what the hell? Is this some kind of bad joke? If only. I talk to you. Junko. This is bad. What was with that announcement? It was like, totally creepy. Hmm. There's gotta be a way out. Or wait, do we just leave? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Duh. Analog stick, stop. That's because it's drifting. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now then, what was it to bring up the map? Triangle. Hold on, where is the gym? That's where we needed to go, right? So... Okay, hold on. Let's examine the map here. I want to say... The gym is... The third room on the right. That looks like it might be it. Or no? Is that a music room, maybe? Or maybe it's where the bear symbol is. That might be where we gotta go. Okay. We'll try both. They're right next to each other. I have to learn the layout of this place. Yeah, 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 okay. That did look like a like a cassette or something. A symbol. Aha! Will this be it? Oh really? Okay. Oh, it could also be on the upper floors. I don't see anything here that looks like a gym. Symbol. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, dude, duh. I see it, duh. The big room all the way up the top. Duh. A big room like that, that's gotta be a gym. Ugh. How could I be so dumb? My apologies. Anyway. I was looking more at the symbols than, like, the way the rooms looked. That's why. There we go. We're good. Hey, come on. God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was gonna be such a pain in <laughs> pain in my balls. Oh. Oof. <laughs> it ain't really that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh-oh. Uh, um and why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Very. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? Yeah. Mm. The, they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. One would hope, but something tells me that's not going to happen. Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well said. Ugh, shit. Well, hell. It ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, whoever called us here. What are you thinking? Mondo, stop. No running. Well, then. I too shall go. No, we need to stick together. <laughs> hey, wait. Don't leave me here all alone. No. We need to stick together! Ah! Tutorial action, eh? Triangle to observe the room. Okay. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Gee. I thought they explained that before. Ah! Oh, you know, it's sort of like the third eye in Persona 5 in a way. Okay. Yeah. It just doesn't stay on if you hold the button. Okay. Erica! Yoko, let's see what you have to say. Total silence? For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Ooh, we'll see. Alright. Sayaka! Um... Where are all the other students? Why aren't we the only ones here? Because of your special abilities, I imagine. 
I just don't know what they plan to do with them. Whoever it is. This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Hmm. Trophies! A display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? Yes. So this is probably just a tiny fraction of their awards. Hmm. What else can we interact with? Ah, that? That's just a screen. Yeah, lots of TVs. They can all just be for what, or for that weird school broadcast, could they? You'd be surprised. Another trophy, right? Oh, another camera. Another surveillance camera? I feel like we're being watched every second. I don't like it. I do not blame you. It is a bit spooky. Huh. What else am I missing here? The door? Locked, right? Oh no, we can just go out. Okay, still filled with uneasy dread. I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Okay, good. So I hope that means I didn't miss anything inside. Because I did look. Oh! Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony, huh? Yo! Hi! See? Told ya. It's totally normal. It's... Okay. It's total normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero is right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Who are you? What the heck is going on? Yeah, who are you? I've seen you before. I know nothing about you. Huh? Uh, teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. Uh -huh. I am Monokuma! Monokuma, ha! <laughs> Kuma. Ha <laughs> ha! I know that from Persona. I think that means bear and in Japanese. I am this school's headmaster. Hi! <laughs> it was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was... It was utterly un incomprehensible. Not if you play Persona 4, where there's also... A talking bear. <laughs> nice to meet you all. Hi. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety... I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Uh-oh. Oh, what? That teddy bear can talk? Yeah, Yosuke said the same thing. <laughs> Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey, come on now. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm trying to do this voice. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. Say what? What? It moved. <laughs> Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. Uh-uh. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything! You cut me deep. Deeper than the... Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Really now? Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Oh my god, are we gonna have bear puns the whole time? <laughs> Persona 4 do that too. Celeste, she's cool too. I like her design. There. There. Really? You are unfortunate. <laughs> now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? <laughs> now then. I'm waiting. It's gonna happen. 
quiet down now. Quiet down. Ah, okay, so. He has abandoned the gag. Good yep. morning. Everyone, stand at attention and bow. And good morning. You hear me? Good morning? What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then, let us concentrate with a most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, ah, uh, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Uh oh. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. And now then, regarding the end date for this communal life. Too bad. There isn't one. In other words, you'll be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. Oh, crap. Hmm. Wh what did he just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for the common conveniences. Uh, for all the common conveniences. Th that's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Uh-huh. And... Ah... And just for your information, you're completely cut from the outside, or cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So, all those metal plates all over the school? They're not going nowhere. And neither are we. They're there to keep us trapped in here. That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So, with all of that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on. What the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn you. Yeah, cut the shit out. It isn't funny anymore. Unbelievable. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you were taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when the time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Pink Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey, um... Oh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention the one thing, there is one way for you to leave the school. <laughs> really? Actually... Miss Headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now then. Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is a graduation clause. What? What do you mean by... Disrupt the harmony. <laughs> I think I know. <laughs> well, you know. If one person were to murder another, I figured. <laughs> the ominous bell tone. Nice. Murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> The rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Oh god. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. A 
As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I don't blame you. I bet that got your brain juices flowing. He's the heck out of human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know. Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find that so darn exciting! What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... it's... barbaric? Yes. To, to kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there is a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? Oh, Aoi, that's Morgana. Okay. We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Gee, and I'm not a cat. <laughs> Had to do it. Yeah, stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. Blabbering? Uh-oh. Blabbering, blabbering. What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home. Your life, your world. Got it? And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead. Go on. A kill, kill, killing spree. All right, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Eh? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, because I mean, you know, this is also kind of trick. And all, and all that, eh. You know this is also kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like, <laughs> shit. dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma. His voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What do you mean, like your hair? You son of a bitch. Fuck! <laughs> Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and lost himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. It ain't gonna work. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! Oh boy. <laughs> Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! This is not going to end well for you. Hey, damn it. What? No smart ass comeback this time? Piece of shit! Stop that! Genie beeping and say something! I try not to say that. <laughs> Watch out! Hey! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her, feros if her ferocity set him into silence or what. Without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... Whoa! Uh, the hell? What the? the... That sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up! There was a painful ringing in my ears. And I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever. But when it's in real life... I'd never seen anything like it. But... But, you know, this means that the teddy bear has been destroyed, right? Hey! Nope. I told you, I'm not a teddy bear, I'm Monokuma. <laughs> uh, there's another one. D damn you. You son of a bitch. You seriously tried to kill me just now. Of course. Well, yes. I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, 
So does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokuma have been placed all throughout the school. Yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time. So don't let it happen again. <sighs> that's not even a punishment. That's just wrong. Well? Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. Ta-da! This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's full, fully digital. So naturally, we call it... The e-handbook! Cool. I kinda wish our schools had that. <laughs> I mean, a lot of schools use tablets now, but not for that. Ahem, yes. Well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure to have the right one. <laughs> now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? And so, er, also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space age design, it can withstand an impact force up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll never hear me, s you'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Shing! Rules are strict, yes, but they also protect society. For example, would be an utter chaos without laws. I mean, yes, true. Yes, indeed. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! And with that, he was gone leaving us all in a state of shock. I don't blame you. So, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? How? Why? I don't understand any of this. Huh? We, we have to live here forever or k kill? <laughs> oh, what just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to calm down. First, Let's try to take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Indeed. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But, but killing someone, that's... <laughs> We were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard, this all has to be fake. Hm. Nope. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters so is... In other words... Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Yeah, that is a good question. Now that they know, if you want to leave, you gotta kill someone. Is anyone actually considering that seriously? Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized a true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's to cause stress and mistrust, right? Yep. Those words have planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Yeah, now that they don't trust each other, and if they're gonna survive this whole thing, they need to stick together. It's dividing them. Already. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? Exactly. And that is how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high, is not a school of hope. It's 
a school of despair. Yeah, it seems that way. Prologue, welcome to despair. Chapter complete, I guess? The end. Cool! Oh boy. Surviving students. Oh boy. To be continued! Oh boy, I didn't expect that. Oh, I guess it's gonna show the whole intro now? That makes sense. I'll keep my hands off the controller to let it play. Catchy music already. I gotta get the cast memorized though, so that might take a small bit of time. Now I know who you are at least. <laughs> I've seen him everywhere, I just had no clue who he was. And I'm glad, because that means I get to experience this whole thing completely blind, not knowing anything. So I'll be surprised. This game's pretty, pretty cool so far, I like it. And we're still at the very, very beginning, so... We'll see. We'll see what craziness lies ahead of us. Hope, despair, yeah? <laughs> Trigger, happy havoc, Danganronpa. Oh boy. What an intro, what a prologue. Oh! A school crest? Cool. Yes, I will. Ooh! Trophy! You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze, and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure, endure that weight. Chapter 1 to survive daily life I'll probably end the video at my next chance to save but for as heavy as the air felt all it took to pierce it was her sharp words hey so what are you going to do now hey hey Erica <laughs> just stand around glaring at each other her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us back to reality. <laughs> right. She's right. Listen to me. Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. <laughs> to forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Somebody hit me. Punish me. Huh? Jesus, if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However... Perhaps. But, what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Find another way out. Idiot, to look for a way out, duh. What the... And, we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But... But, but, but before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook? It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. Alright, so then... Fine. Then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Okay. Sounds simple enough. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So, just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on the screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. 
Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is unacceptable is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Hon Monokuma is strictly prohibited and Eh, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Gotcha. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Really now. Feeling a slight like dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around! This is bullshit! What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. And you'll be killed. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without care in, without a care in the world and see what happens? Yeah, exactly. Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if you got punished like what we saw before... I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yeah. It'd be game over. Yo. I... Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it. Even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I made a ton of promises that I still had to keep. That's so what? Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here. <sighs> None of that made much sense to me, but you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Um, hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Um... Anyone who kisses a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. Oh. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. Ah. But, but why? Why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to, to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Hmm. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Damn straight. Okay then, let's all start looking around. Hm. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Uh, hold on a second. Well, wait, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um, but... So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Like hell I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? What? The fuck's that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, that could possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking Ow! Dead. I'm gonna kick your ass. S 
Stop it! We shouldn't fight! What? The fuck you just say? He's a kind of goody goody little bitch? You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? No, I wasn't. You son of a bitch! Fuck you! <laughs> Ouch! He punched me! And I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there. The next, I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten. The kind of people I'd been tapped, er, trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess it shouldn't be a surprise that it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of sense of reality. Of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Before it finally cut out completely. Ow! When I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Bad. Oh! Yeah. Huh? Where am I? As if it become a part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so, where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook by pressing square. Use this menu to check the school regulations and character info on the report section. Report card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load game data under the system section. Okay. Finally, click the touchpad to review the transcript. This records all permanent in or pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Yes. Okay. Well. That was quite eventful. But. Oh, cool. It's got a little background music icon. That's neat. Alright, so let's go into the handbook. And I think I'm going to end this part here and save my game right here. I'll also make one more save. Or should I just... Yeah. There we go. There we go. All done. Perfect. And I guess we'll take a look at this room next time and see what we have in here. I think it's obviously a dormitory room, which is cool. That's fine. But yeah. Next time we'll see whatever's in here, like I said. And, uh, yeah, I am still really liking this so far. I'm very intrigued to get further in and see what twists and turns we're going to run into. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and share it around if you want to. If you want to follow me on Twitter or support the channel on Patreon, both links will be in the video description below. And, uh, yeah, I'm very intrigued. I can't wait to see what happens next. But until then... See you guys later.